Hey you, I'm getting quite used to having you around. It's Lucy Luck, and today we're doing something a little different. Because I don't feel like being a proper adult today. So, let's play some nostalgic games from the early 2000s and just be children again. So, without further ado, Get comfy cozy, pop on some headphones if you like, and let's go on an adventure. All I've been able to think about are these Kim Possible games that cemented my dreams of being an undercover super spy. I don't think I simply wanted to be a super spy, I think I genuinely believed that I was one. Impossible Shopping Adventure. I played this one so much, and I remember it being super addicting and mildly infuriating. It's perfect for ASMR content, right? Everyone wants to be furious as they fall asleep. I definitely don't remember this one being a point and click. I thought I'd have more control with the keyboard. This is hard. This is so hard. Alright, these jumping mechanics just aren't intuitive at all. You would think you could just leap off the edge of this platform to get to the taller one, but no. Oh god, I'm about to get roasted. Can we talk about how hard these villains went? I think I wanted to be Shigo more than Kim. Did you really think you could get away with it? An even simpler question, Kim Possible. Did you really think you could stop us wearing that outfit? <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered right now. Okay, I need to go where somebody can't hurt me. Move a snow ride. I loved this game. Which snowboard should I pick? I think this one feels very early 2000s. A lot of 70s inspiration for some reason. I don't think a show has ever made me want a naked mole rat as much as Kim Possible. He looks kind of like an oxalotl. There was like a huge fascination with naked animals around this time. Why? I don't know, but I think I like it. Never mind, I hate this game. Can't see where I'm going. I'm about to bust out some reading glasses to play these old Kim Possible games. What have I become? Well, at least. I made it to the finish line, I guess. Participation trophy. Oh, we are definitely playing some Lilo and Stitch games. Absolutely. Okay, straight to Sandwich Stacker. Now this was an S-tier game. Chef's Kiss. See, now this, this is a well-balanced game. I know exactly what the mechanics are, and it's not. Impossible. Also, can I just say that Experiment 625 was a whole note. I wanted to be Angel, but in reality I grew up to be Reuben. I just learned his name was Reuben. And you know what? It makes sense. I never thought I would be reading through the Reuben 625 page on the fandom Lilo and Stitch wiki, but this is really my kind of lore. This game deserves more than one round. I'm happy here. Welcome to Lucy Lux Gaming Meditation. Everyone take a deep breath in and out. Soften your eyes. Rest comfortably, trusting that Imagination will do the work for you. I'd like you to imagine yourself in a very special place. It's just you and your Dell Dimension dial up computer. Your favorite snacks are there as well. Maybe it's a Shrek go kart or a Go Snacks container. Doritos 3D, perhaps. Whatever the snack is, you feel safe and at home. 
and looking forward to a relaxing long play of 625 Sandwich Stacker before the long-awaited premiere of the That's So Sweet Life of Hannah Montana crossover. The only thing that matters is that it's a place where you feel completely comfortable. Completely comfortable and safe. Breathe deeply and enjoy the feelings of relaxation and comfort. And thank yourself for taking this time for you. And perhaps promise yourself and reassure yourself that you can visit this place whenever you need to. A place where you are your best friend's top friend. On MySpace, a place where your only job is to excel in cool math games. It's there whenever you need it. But for now, gently come back to this ASMR video, because next we're going to play Stitch, Master of Disguise. I was just doing that as a bit, but it kind of became this whole way into that. Alright, I don't remember how to play this one at all. Select your speed. Easy mode. How sad is it that I picked easy mode on a children's game? But if we're being real, who's out here trying to prove anything by choosing extreme mode on Stitch Master of Disguise? Let's be real. Okay, so we have to look at the board. We'll know our disguise. Surfer Dave. Okay, so I'm guessing we just sift, sift, sift through all of these drawers and pick out his outfit. That's the fit, right? I mean, what else is there? Do I just sit and wait until the end of the timer? That doesn't seem natural, but I guess I'll sit tight. What did I do wrong? Uh -oh. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I see I missed the most integral part of that last outfit, didn't I? Why am I dressing up as Monroe? That would be terrifying. Bro, I thought you died. That's enough deception for one day. Oh, deep memory unlocked. This... Now this was my sh Did my love for character creators single-handedly birth from this game right here. I played this for hours. I'm feeling so many good feelings. I love how sassy this pose is. Okay, I don't want to just recreate Angel, so we'll play around here. Ooh, big ol' eyeballs. I love it. Wait, but I remember you could actually send these to Disney Channel, and I thought I was single-handedly designing all of their future characters. Did they actually use fan creations from this game? No. They wouldn't, right? Would they? Man, I really just gave Disney all of that info, and I really don't think I needed to. Let's throw some sweet life in the mix. Oh my goodness, there's a little Sweet Life Pizza Pickup Party. Pizza Pickup Party. I can't remember if I played this one or not. So it's like Pac-Man. I can't tell if some of these are helping me or harming me. Like it turns both red and green, so I'm very confused. I'm not sure where I stand. Not looking good party's just okay. What do you mean? I had, like, so many apples and stuff the kids love. Okay, I think this was the one I played. Yes, wait. Maybe not. This feels vaguely familiar. Why am I hiding from my mom when I'm clearly doing free marketing for her? Boo. <gasps> Corey's money maze. This was the one I was thinking Yes. Wow. The 
nostalgia's real. I would never forget the sweet, sweet piggy bank. How do I get up these stairs? Oh, two buttons at the same time. Genius. But I got them all. I got them all. That one's impossible. I can't believe the developers just gave up on this game. We'll have no updates. Can't believe this. Okay, time to switch websites. Let's check out some of these old Mycene and Barbie games. Wow. It feels good, man. I wish I could describe what this nostalgia feels like. It's like there's a rubber ducky in my chest, but in a good way. I have no idea if that makes any sense. You ever just feel like a rubber ducky in a good way? I might have some strange wires cropped in my brain, I don't know. I loved Madison. I don't know if I actually ever picked Barbie. I was more of a Bratz girl, though. The outfits were cooler. The makeup was cooler. You could pop their entire foot off and lose them forever. Those movies were a bit of a hot mess, though, looking back. I mean, I loved them, but Barbie probably won that round. The Barbie movies slapped. Look at these face gems. Have those made a comeback yet? Because I feel like they will. I feel like they should. That and bedazzled jeans, watch out. Just whatever you do, don't high-waisted pants irrelevant again, because early 2000s jeans were the worst. Not a single curve allowed. Wow, my scene room makeover. I loved this one so much. Style and bedroom or party pad? Style and bedroom or party pad? I think I'm going to go with this one because that's just the one I remember the most. Ooh, that canopy. I can't remember if I had one of those, but I remember that I really, really wanted one of those. Look at those color combos. Pink and green. That was huge. It's a bit hard to see what I'm decorating here. This is really giving me it's Happy Bunny t-shirt vibes. Do you remember those? That and whoever this guy was. Okay, now we need to make a little relaxation zone. I'm really not sure if this tropical vibe works, but I'm gonna trust my gut with this one. Interior design is my passion. Look at all of these fun phones. I always loved the phones that were shaped like other things, especially, especially these lips, or that burger phone from Juno. Juno came out a bit later than I was playing this game, but I still want that phone. All right, wall color, let's keep it soft, and this nook. Dude, having a reading success, right? I would love to have a nook to pretend that I read in. Now, all we need is some lighting and wall decorations. And voila! <laughs> now that's, that's a style in bedroom. What's left, favorite pet? I'm gonna be honest, I'm a big cat girl, but churro. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling very accomplished. We created a character, we got a full makeover, and redesigned our entire bedroom. So, very productive day. Let's do no lease nails. There's so many options. Not a single proper red, though. That's weird. I don't usually go all out on my nails. I like a classic shape with one steady, sophisticated color. Sophisticated color. But I'm gonna give her some purple vibes with a ring glitter nail. That feels consistent with the time 
trams, I think. I really don't know what nail trams were back then. I would just beg my mom to paint mine because I was too sloppy to do them myself, and I liked the attention. Ooh, look at all these rings. Which one should we choose? Oh my gosh, it's a mood ring. Okay, mood rings on every finger. Real Thanos vibes. You know what? I'm feeling something crazy. I'm feeling something a little crazy. What if we played Club Penguin? This is the only good thing that came out of 2020, in my opinion. They brought it back, and I'm so happy to relive these glory days. I always liked this cream color or the light pink. Pink or cream. Let's go with this. We're gonna need Wu-Tang Generator for this one. It worked for Childish Gambino, so why shouldn't it work for me? Insane Designer. Insane, insane. Can I, can I just have a do-over? It's just gonna give me the same name, isn't it? Okay, well, I can't be disrespectful. This is my name now. Hey you, it's Insane Design, and welcome to my channel. Not a single design-related video, but the first part might be right. Oh my goodness. Penguin. I know exactly what we're doing first because Rufus Snowride just didn't hit like I thought it would. Yeah. I used to be so good at this. Well, I'm rusty now. Brush it off. Kind of embarrassing that they're just down there waiting like that. But try, try again. You'll be a master at this again someday. You just wait. It's the lag. It was the wind. It was your mom. Ain't that just the way? Okay, let's play something else. I vividly remember a pizza place, and it was the most romantic. Just listen to this pop. How many dates did you go on here and you were both just like, hi? Oh god. You know, now that I think about it, I hated this game. For some reason, the mouse just doesn't feel like it can go fast enough. This game had me stressed. I'm still stressed. I can't mess this squid pizza up. I can't lose this job. I need this. Okay, well, I don't need it that much. Do I have enough money to buy a proper outfit? I feel naked. Is this where you go for an outfit? Well, this is terribly misleading. Oh, well, speaking of Discord, I started a Discord. You can find the link below if you'd like to join the Comfy Cozy Club. It's an incredibly wholesome space, and I hope you enjoy it. As much as I do. It's a great way to meet other cozy gamers and get instant access to channel news and new video updates. But moving on, here's where I need to go. First and foremost, I think we need some hair. I love this. So swooshy. So swooshy. I'm not a blonde though, so I'm not sure how fitting this is. What am I saying? I'm a penguin right now. None of this is fitting. Ooh, nice little laptop to show off what an insane designer I am. And yes, the cat eye. That's something a little more consistent with my vibe. Ooh, I like this one too. So sassy. What else? What else is there? An outfit I can afford right now. No, I don't think that there back to work. Let's work at the coffee shop today. I love how close this is to full-time service industry life. I mean, minus the having money to spend on yourself, but yeah, I work afternoons at the pizza place, evenings at the coffee shop, and I also happen to be a professional skier. And if I'm lucky, if I'm really, really lucky, I might have time 
to sleep. I could have sworn there was like a coffee game. Not smoothies, no. Where is it? that up real quick. Okay, I got this. I got this. You got this, Lucy. You were a barista once. This is exactly the same. Hey, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I'm better at this than the other games, that's for sure. Wait, an anvil? An anvil? Who throws an anvil at their customers? Boss. Boss, we really, we really need to reassess these suppliers. I don't care how good the beans are. Not the fish. We don't even have fish dishes. Okay. Not too bad, I guess. We're still alive. Why not continue this toxic work relationship? Oh no, not the faces. What a waste of a perfectly good flower arrangement. All right, well, I quit. This is why people don't put in their two weeks anymore. Well, darlings, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I value your feedback. If there's something that would make your experience more